Hey everyone, in this series of videos, I'm going to be giving you detailed solutions to the odd number problems in space-time physics by Edwin Taylor and John Wheeler. Now the reason I chose this book is, on your journey to become a space-time physics expert, this is, without a doubt and no question, the first stop on that journey. The fact that you can enter reading this book with a limited knowledge of Newton mechanics and a limited knowledge of calculus, but you can come out feeling like Einstein, can't be understated. In fact, if you finish this entire book and you're able to complete all the problems, you actually will have enough knowledge to then tackle a introductory textbook in general relativity. Nothing graduate level, but definitely definitely an undergraduate textbook in general relativity. Now, the way you should approach the problems in this book is obviously read the chapter first. Try out the problem yourself. When you can't solve it, don't come don't come directly to the video. First look at the answer key in the back of the textbook. Now, with knowledge of the answer, see if you can go back to your work and and often once you see the answer you can kind of see how to get it, or you can see what you did wrong, why you weren't able to get that answer. So after you've done that, if you still can't solve it, then by all means come check out my video, or after you solve it, if you want to see how I did it, or if I did it by a different method, then by all means come check it out. And uh, I promise you that if you buy this book and you read it, and you do all the problems, I, I can't stress how much you're how important it is to not only read it, but do the problems as well, then if you finish the entire textbook, you'll be well on your journey to mastering space-time phys space physics and being able to dive into most likely the topics that you're more interested in in general relativity. Since most people who are interested in special relativity and space-time physics, your end goal is you're trying to gain enough knowledge to be able to understand Einstein's general relativity. And I promise you'll be able to do that if you work through this book and all the problems. So uh, grab the book, read the chapters, and I'll see you in the problems.